The New Zealand Animal Law Association was established in 2014 to help improve the welfare of animals through the legal system. We've recently launched a report about farmed animal welfare law in New Zealand. In this report, we identify a gap between the Animal Welfare Act 1999 and the codes of welfare and regulation that sit under the Act. The Act provides that owners and persons in charge of animals have to meet their physical health and behavioural needs. Unfortunately, we've found that the codes of welfare and regulations do not always meet this standard. We've come to this conclusion after undertaking a review of the latest scientific literature on what it means to meet the physical health and behavioural needs of pigs, layer hens, meat chickens, dairy cattle and fish. We make a range of recommendations in this report. Firstly, that a comprehensive review of the codes of welfare and regulations be undertaken. Secondly, we recommend a review of the processes by which the codes of welfare and regulations were established by the National Animal Welfare Advisory Committee, which sits under the Ministry for Primary Industries. We hope that this report will help to inform and educate the government, the public and industry, and encourage collaboration between these groups and animal welfare advocacy organisations, so that together we can work towards genuinely achieving the standard outlined in the Act of meeting the physical, health and behavioural needs of farmed animals. One major animal welfare issue that we look at in this report is legal standards for meat chickens known as broilers. Now, when people think that New Zealand is a country of sheep, really we're a country of broiler chickens. We farm about 125 million of them every year. And sadly, most of these animals are raised in really concerning conditions. They're selectively bred for fast growth rates, despite the fact that the scientific literature is really clear that these breeds cause all sorts of health problems, such as leg disorders, lameness, and heart conditions. And another really important animal welfare issue that we look at in this report is the absence of specific legal standards for fish. It's a highly neglected issue, and so we look at both fish farming and slaughter and make a number of recommendations for reform. I'm proud to be part of New Zealand Animal Law Association's report into farmed animal welfare. The report is the first of its kind, a granular, in-depth analysis of New Zealand's animal welfare regulatory system. And ultimately, our report shows that that system is coming up short. I'm hopeful that the recommendations that we make in our report will lead to significant reform. But at the very least, I hope that it starts a conversation. A conversation about what we, as New Zealanders, want our animal welfare standards to look like. For too long, we have traded upon a reputation as a world leader in animal welfare, and this report provides the recommendations that are needed to make our reality meet those expectations. Governmental and industry representatives have repeatedly claimed that Aotearoa New Zealand leads the world in animal welfare. Unfortunately, however, close examination of the actual standards used within the farming of New Zealand's major farm species indicate that animal welfare problems remain serious and widespread. In order to adequately safeguard the welfare of New Zealand's animals, it is essential that its animal law is up to date and fit for purpose. Our report provides recommendations as to how and why this should be done. Doing this is necessary to fulfil our duty of care toward these animals, it's in the interests of good ethics, the wishes of New Zealand's people, and it's even in the interests of New Zealand's animal production and use industries.